Hi everyone! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome! It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So, welcome to your readings for August of 2018. Summer is almost over. Boo. I know, it sucks. But, on a happier note, I want to give a big ol' happy birthday to the rest of the Leo clan that are finishing out your birthdays. It's your birthday season. I hope you guys had a great one. And I want to extend a happy birthday to the, Var the Virgos. Yeah, we're going to be going into your season soon. So, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, so, down to business. These are general readings, okay? So, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yes, don't try to like fit something in there and then, you know, when it, you know, it really doesn't resonate, it doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, I am officially back in business when it comes to personal readings. Yeah. So if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all of the information in the description box below, um, which includes the readings that I offer, a little bit about them and my email address. Yes. And their prices. If upon reading through them, you don't really know what reading you think would work best for you, just go ahead and email me. We can chat a little bit about your situation and then I should be able to decipher which reading would be best for you. Yeah. If you are in the New York City metro area, I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. That is located on 14th Street between 1st, I'm sorry, between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in Manhattan. Please come by and see me. I would love to meet you in person. You can either come through as a walk-in, you know, at the time that you want, whenever it's convenient for you, or you can go to the website, which can be found in the description box below, and get their phone number. And from there, you can schedule a reading in advance. Yeah, definitely works out well that way. For the readings this month, I will be using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck. Look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty and golden. Well, actually, you can't, you can't really see it that way, but you'll see it when we get into the reading, yeah? And then I will be pulling some Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck by Lucy Cavendish. Yes? Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think so. So, without further ado, let's get to it, yeah? Hey Aquarius, welcome to your reading for the month of August 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get to it. <laughs> hey Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for all Aquarians to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. I'm seeing a whole mess of colors for you guys. I'm seeing orange, I'm seeing yellow, I'm seeing a light blue, which is the same color I was seeing for the Libra video, um, which makes sense. You guys are both air signs. I'm also seeing a very deep purple, which to me is divine wisdom. All right, so the light blue is most prominent. So truth, honesty, integrity, awesome. This is divinely guided. Um, and it's setting your emotions and your willpower um, in greater alignment, which is good because your emotions are your compass. Um, your willpower is like your driving force. All of this is coming into greater alignment with divine will, with higher will, source creator, with your higher self. This is good. Aquarius. It's helping you with your naturally, um, your natural humanitarian nature in some cases. You might be getting into some sort of uh, new endeavor when it comes to social service, I'm hearing specifically. Aquarius. Okay, one more shuffle, Aquarius. Aquarian energy. All right. Let's cut the deck here. 
All right, Aquarius. Starting you off, overall energy. Woof. Woo, we've got the Knight of Swords. Y'all are charging in, huh? I'm really feeling like you guys are feeling the call. Some sort of battle call to like rush in. And this could be that humanitarian that uh, energy that you guys possess that um, you're really moving forward with right now. Okay, we've got the Page of Cups. We've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, and this is something about that you're passionate about. The King of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign. But I really feel like this is your energy, Aquarius. Excuse me. Um, uh, your energy is, is being represented by the King of Wands. This is something you're very passionate about. This is your humanitarian side, charging forward. It's, it's almost like you want to save someone. There could be... You could be getting involved with humanitarian service surrounding children, looking to bring an end to their suffering, to their... to something that they can't really end themselves with the Ten of Swords in reverse. If it's not children, it's, it's some, uh, someone, some group of people that have trouble or cannot defend themselves. It's something you're very passionate about. Like, I can feel that. It's quite honorable, Aquarius. I have to say. There's also an element of you coming to the defense of your own inner child. Ooh. Fancy that. <laughs> um, and if that's the case, for some of you, I'm picking up it's like you are remembering what went on in your childhood and now you're taking actions to, to, to help others not go through that or heal from that if they've been through it, yeah? Storyline here, we've got the five of wands. So there's conflict. There are opposing opinions. There, uh, there's inner conflict. You, are, you might be in inner conflict right now because of some sort of injustices that are happening. Five of wands is coupled with Death. Transformation. You want to help bring some sort of transformation forward. And either you're conflicted about it, or others around you are conflicted about it, or there's just a, a bunch of like chaos or... Yeah, a bunch of just, just a bunch of chaos surrounding the situation. But I really see you, especially with this Knight of Swords here, and it's upright, thankfully, but I see you as some sort of agent of change here. Almost like you're coming into the situation to make some sort of decisive actions in order to allow things to progress or to transform. Because in some situations, this might have been in this like Ten of Swords cycle, just spinning and spinning and spinning and nothing's really being resolved. So I do see you coming in being some sort of uh, someone that's making some sort of judgment call. That's allowing this con conflict to be put to, the, to rest and allowing things to transform and move forward. We've got the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Sun. I feel, I feel like someone, is being, someone was being pretty heartless with the Knight of Cups in reverse, maybe even somewhat manipulative when it comes to the emotions. On the other hand, there could be some situations in which um, someone was not offering some sort of cup of love here. But ultimately, it's okay because the sun is shining. So that's leaving someone, someone, something open for someone else to come in. This could be you, Aquarius. There could be some person out there that you are quite fond of that you want to rush in and kind of save them from some sort of manipulative situation it could be. It still also could be a child. I'm actually specifically picking up on some sort of situation where someone, it might be adoption in some way. Specifically, I saw someone coming in as in like the knight in shining armor for someone else's kids. Like maybe they're dating someone and now you, you're dating someone and you have this 
um, impulse or this drive to really be a supportive person in this child's life because the other parent is like not in the picture or something. But this is going to be a good thing with the sun here. And the sun is upright. So Aquarius or whoever this is resonating with, you really might be seeing the bigger picture here, understanding how you can bring a light or illumination to the situation. Moving forward. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You see, and this is right under that Ten of Swords. And these are both tens. So you remember when I was saying this cycle, this, this cycle of the Ten of Swords energy just keeps going and going and going and nothing's getting resolved? Well, now it's getting resolved with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Coupled with, okay, the Six of Wands in reverse. Well, in some cases, maybe it's not getting resolved. Maybe in some cases, the resolution here is just the dissolution of the situation altogether. Maybe this is, a, maybe this is something that just can't be fixed. And Aquarius, you might be the one coming in saying, sorry guys, but this, there is no hope for this one. You just got to bite the bullet, take the, take the loss and move on. Yeah. That's most likely what it is, to be honest. But again, the situation is getting resolved in some way. It just, just may not be the way you wanted it to. Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, moving forward, we've got the Nine of Wands in reverse. Giving up on that fight, not really persevering anymore. Understanding that this, this battle is just going nowhere. Uh, Nine of Wands is coupled with the Seven of Cups. Um, it was Seven of Cups energy. It was uh, multiple options that were keeping, that was keeping you or was keeping others. I'm really, honestly, for, so for one section of what I'm channeling here right now, I feel like there is a group situation of some sort of group endeavor. that's coming to an end. That's needing to come to an end because people aren't really working well together with the five of wands here. Too many cooks in the kitchen is an energy I'm picking up on. But the reason why we have the nine of wands here in reverse is the, like people were just kept persevering because there was always some sort of perceived other way. There was always some sort of perceived option. And it might have been too many options that ended up being the downfall of this situation. It also could be someone is not continuing to press on because there are too many options. It's like I'm getting like an energy of just like this is just way too overwhelming. I don't know. I, can't, I just can't do this anymore. Yeah. All right. Moving forward. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. No need to sit on this anymore. Not really procrastinating about it anymore. Procrastination is done. The harvest has come in. It's probably not what you wanted. Cut your losses and move forward. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Really the only thing I'm getting here with this seven of pentacles in reverse and five of pentacles in reverse is someone is realizing that this just is not what it was. It's all cracked up to be. You might even feel duped. I'm picking up a bit of bait and switch energy. Like with this person standing here with the seven of pentacles, it's like in reverse, it's like, oh, wait a second. This is not what I wanted. This is not what was advertised. This is not what was sold to me. Five of Pentacles is like, I've been robbed. I've been cheated. Yeah. Yes and no. For the most part, yes. 
But at this point, there's nothing you can do but just take the hit, unfortunately. <sighs> Moving forward. I, I, well, now, also, I want you guys to understand that the sun is here and the sun is upright. Whenever the sun comes out, no matter what's going on here, everything is going to be okay. So when I say yes or no, when it comes to the seven of pentacles and five of pentacles, both in reverse, ultimately, it's going to be okay because you learned something from it. Maybe what you learned was to not take things at face value. Or maybe to do a little re more research or, I don't know, use better discernment. I don't know. But ultimately, everything's working out for the best. Yeah? Moving forward. Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is a past energy. And this could be why whatever is coming to an end here needed to come to an end. Because there was something that was being offered. Something that was trying, someone that was trying to get involved. I don't know. And someone was too arrogant and stuck up to accept whatever help was coming through. Four of Cups is coupled with the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah. I'm just, I'm picking up an energy here of someone not really willing to accept any help. This could have been a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I, and it's so weird that it's this card. So maybe it's specific to the sign here, but this card is giving, the, 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 the King of Cups in reverse is giving me an energy of, I got this. I don't need no help. That to me is more of a King of Wands energy. Maybe the King of Pentacles. Maybe even the King of Swords. Okay, so it could be any of them. <laughs> All right, cool. It has something to do with the emotions, though. If it's not a water sign. What could be happening here, Aquarius, is maybe you want to rush in and save someone from trying to connect with someone that is emotionally unavailable. Maybe you see someone trying to offer love to someone else that's really not having it, and you're like, well, wait, what about me? And in that case, this person is probably... <laughs> is putting forth the same exact energy they got back from whoever this King of Cups is. <laughs> but in that case, though, you need to have a little more restraint and compassion. Like, that's where the Knight of Swords energy is kind of going to get you in a little bit of trouble. You need to let them go through that experience for themselves in order to learn from it. Which I understand could be heartbreaking for you, especially if you have deep feelings for this person, or if you, like, you really care about this person, but... Meh. It's so interesting because when I did the, the, the Libra reading, there was like, it was, it felt like it was kind of all over the place and I'm feeling similar energies here for Aquarius. You guys have a lot going on. There are a lot of different things happening here. All right, moving forward, we've got, uh-oh, Justice in reverse. Could be dealing with a Libra. Also, this is some of your energy here, Aquarius, even though it's not your official card. Um, it's similar energy. Okay, so there's an injustice here. Coupled with the Nine of, Knight of Wands in reverse. This, these, are, there are a lot of the same cards that are coming out for all these readings. I think this is speaking to, or at least I feel like this is speaking to, um, whoever you're trying to save, in a sense. This injustice could have been done by a fire sign or someone that was just really super hasty, um, not really thinking about anything else but themselves. I'm hearing this could be exactly directly speaking to this humanitarian call that you're experiencing, something that you want to change or help change for someone or a group of people. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Finally, for you, Aquarius, we have woo, the devil upright. Could be talking Capricorn here. Coupled with the Knight of Pentacles upright. Interesting. You gotta give me a second on that one. I'm f picking up on some sort of entrapment. Something's keeping someone or some group of people stuck in a page of pentacles. Did I say knight of pentacles? I meant to say page of pentacles. This is speaking to whoever your humanitarian call is directed at. There's, I want to say there's some sort of system in place that is keeping individuals in this Knight of Pentacles, I keep saying that, page, I'm sorry, page of Pentacles state. And now that I think about it and I zoom out, this absolutely is the matrix, keeping humans, the human collective, in this codependent, toxic reality in which our power is usurped from us, is taken from us. And this could be that call you're hearing, Aquarius, to step up, step in, and help be an agent of change. Yes, help be an agent of change with the King of Wands energy here to help us break out of this element. I could be specifically, I could be speaking to Twin Flames right now. And you could either be Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine. It doesn't matter. But ultimately, the King of Wands energy is coming out here, and that is the action taker. Knowing exactly what he wants and going for it. Wow. Wow, 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 Aquarius. That's great. That's really great. Okay. Let's get into your Oracle Guidance for this reading, shall we? One more. One more shuffle. All right. For Aquarius. One card, please, spirit. Okay. One card in relation to this reading, please, spirit. Whoa, Lord have mercy. Here it is. This is the card. <laughs> Lord, gee. Card number 35, the light bringer. I'm sorry, the life bringer. Establishment. Yeah. Growth and fulfillment. Okay. About you now, ideas and projects are gestating. Constellations of ideas are birthing. Your creativity is flowing from within, and ideas are developing in an easy, organic flow. For a time, you will be rich in health and love and in physical beauty. While there is much that is new about you, what has already been developed within your world can now be brought to greater fulfillment. So children may begin to mature and grow older, and your ambitions and your dreams may need support to move from their beginnings to become truly established and make their presence strong and unshakable. Your accomplishments will now be acknowledged, respect will be given, as it is overdue, and your contributions and your work will now receive the value and recognition they deserve. This could also mean you are able to ask for more money in exchange for your services and seek investment to develop your business. Your influence, power, and reputation are all growing in healthy, inspiring ways. You feel good in yourself. A loving relationship with your body now develops, and you accept and receive loving support from others. No more will you receive disrespect. Unkind words about yourself and or your adventures will no longer be tolerated. You are growing in stature. Finally, the world sees you for who you are, a successful being who has followed their dreams. 
And to be quite honest, that is speaking directly to this King of Wands energy. So there you go, Aquarius. Good on ya. All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again for the month of September. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.